Howdy, Beeflo Bart here, and welcome! This video is brought to you by Strava Craft Coffees. The coffee with the kick of CBD. Now, you guys know that I love my coffee, and you know that I'm not going to have any sponsors that would actually be a product that I don't care for. And after trying the very first cup of this stuff, I was in love. And go to their store. You can get um, coffee in the bag, K-cups, and espresso pods. I like my Keurig, so I use the K-cups. Now, I have tried the medium roast and the dark roast, and I have also tried the decaf. Mm, I love my caffeine, though. Um, well, what I do recommend is they have, when you place your order, you can actually order a small four-pack and sample it, but you're going to love it. Uh, the first one that I actually ordered was this one right here. It shows 80 milligrams, but it's 20 milligrams of CBD per cup, and the medium roast. Well, I think the next order I'm going to do is uh, the dark roast, because after trying the dark roast, I really like it too. Um, but you can get a 4-pack, 12-pack, or 48-pack, and you won't regret it. This stuff is great. All right, let's jump right into this video. What I'm wanting to create is the basic architecture for starting a save game system that we can work on later and improve. And to do this, I have created a example, whereas you walk over and very simple, you get close enough and you change your mesh color. What red, white, and blue. Figure why not? Let's be patriotic. But whenever I leave the game, I want to be able to come back in later, and I want this to actually, you know, persist. So I want to create that save game element to at least store some data. Now you can use this for anything you want, from your player's mesh to clothing to experience points, character level, credits, whatever you want. The same system will work for all of that. And let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is I've created a folder and it's called modes and saves. So we need to create a save game. And if you go to blueprint class and you click on this tab right here, the little arrow, this will drop down and you can type in save and you'll see save game. Select that and select. We're going to call this default save game. So this is our default save game. And if we go in there, the only thing we're going to worry about in this one right now, we're going to add one variable, and that's going to be our sg underscore mesh. And the reason why I'm putting the sg in front of it is I know that it is the save games variable. It'll make it a little bit easier to follow along and to be able to update things as you need to. I'm going to change this variable type to a skeletal mesh. So if you select Skeletal Mesh and just click here, it's already set to Object Reference. So we hit Compile and Save. We don't need to edit anything in this. We're just going to go ahead and close that. We know that we have our SG Mesh that we can work with and save to. Now in our Player Blueprint, we need to go in. And I've already created an Event Begin Play to set the mode correctly to Game Mode Only and to remove the mouse cursor if it's present for any reason and let's get going with what we need to actually build here. I'm going to create a new custom event called just type in CUST and then hit enter and then type in a name. We're going to do this as save game check. So we want this to to check to see if the save game already exists and if not we want to go ahead and create it and we're going to end up calling this off of our event begin play so I'm going to make a little room and just type in save game check and enter so now on event begin play every time we start playing we're going to check to see if our save game exists if it doesn't we're going to create one if it does we're going to load the data from that so in our save game check what we're going to need to do here is look to see if it exists so does save game exist and we have a slot name. I'm going to go ahead and drag off from here and promote to variable and we're going to call this our save game slot name. 
and we're just going to drag this over here we're going to be able to use this anywhere we want in fact let's shorten the name up just a little bit and just call it our sg slot name compile and save now we're asking does it exist and of course with that we need a branch node and we can connect the red to the red and executable to executable so we're asking does save game exist if it's yes we're going to do something if it's no we're going to do something else okay so what we need to do now is go ahead and compile and save because remember you're the master of your saves don't rely on an auto save system to prevent anything from happening so what we need to do is if the save game does exist we're going to drag from true and we're going to type in load game and we want load game from slot and here we want this sg slot name drag a new copy of it in here and plug that in so it's going to check and load game from slot okay now when we load this game from slot we need to do something here we need to cast to it our save game so cast to and we only have the one so it's cast to default save game then from there we need to get our SG mesh okay we're gonna get a reference to that skeletal mesh reference inside there and we need to get a reference to our mesh here then what we're gonna to have to do is set our skeletal mesh so when we set our skeletal mesh and let's go ahead and connect our executable pins together we're gonna to set it to whatever that mesh is that's saved in that save game and that's all we need to do on the top end of this for load game from slot cast to the default save game get the the mesh that's stored there and set our current skeletal mesh to whatever it is there so let's go ahead and save that and then we'll do the bottom part so does save game exist no or false we're going to go into the bottom part of it which is now create save game object and this is where we're going to actually create the information that we need we're going to store this information so we need to get a reference to our mesh so we have something to start with and we want to get our skeletal mesh okay we're going to get that information and then what we're going to do is grab from our grab right here default save game and then from our return value we need to set sg mesh we need to to actually create something to put in there and what we're putting in there is whatever that default was that we're currently using okay so once we set that we need to save it so we can drag from here and we need to save game to slot okay and what we're saving here is the save game object hmm, what is the save game object well we're gonna go ahead and drag from here and I'm just gonna put in a reroute node make it a little bit neater plug that in and of course we need our slot name and we can plug that in there so that's going to create our save game reference and set up our save game now because of the way that I set up my red white and blue guys we're gonna to have to do something a little bit different here and what I'm gonna do is create a new custom event, uh, custom event and change mesh so when we change our mesh what we're gonna do here is we're going to essentially be doing this same deal right here and I'll do it out all over again just so you can see what we're doing we're going to come from here and we're going to create save game object our save game class is going to be our default save and then we need to again set sg mesh which is our save game mesh and again we're using our, our mesh reference here 
and get skeletal mesh and we'll just plug that directly in here and after we do that again we have to save game to slot and of course we're going to need our slot name and we need our save game object so we can actually drag down here again and let's go ahead and plug that in here yeah you can just go straight across I'm just bringing it down here so it's a little bit more visible and then we'll plug this guy in here now when we created this right here we don't have a name in here so we need to go ahead and make sure we put that in here and default SGE uh, you can call this anything you want this is going to be the file that actually gets saved and I'm just going to do default SG so we actually have a value in there so anywhere where the SG slot name is now if we had put that in here first and then created a variable it would have carried that over <coughs> but now all we're going to have to do is go to our red white and blue characters in this case and yeah I could have done this a little bit better but whatever we're going to go from our on component end overlap which is a box collision that is currently in our, our character so as soon as we interact we, we walk into this box it's going to change our mesh and then when we leave that box it's going to run this custom event and it's going to save what our new mesh is going to be so for my work here I could have done this differently and this could have been actually in a, a master and then child actor blueprints but you get the idea and we'll go back to white do the same thing Should we can close that we'll go in here and play now we're our white character if we come over here and say we want to be red as soon as we leave okay we exit the game we come back in and we are the red character we want to change to white no problem if I exit come back in I'm the white character and we know this should work because there's no reason why it won't and we come back in here and play and we're still the blue character so that's how you can actually save your game to actually keep the information that you have that you want to save and all you have to do whenever you want to add more things in here uh, you can add another variable in here like health but you also want to do sg underscore health and let's say we'll make that a float because that is the the way of how it is in there we go back into our player blueprint and if we want to add more things in there then all we have to do is just move this over and add that in same thing up here um, does save game exist yes so we're going to load that information in where you you're only doing SG mesh here all you would have to do then is grab from here and SG and you see we have it now so we want to get our SG health and we want to set our current players health to that all before we end up you know get at the end right here so if I do that I can actually now set health to whatever this value is and here when we're creating that save game object we need to include this information in there and all we have to do is grab from here you see we're we're setting the SG mesh from here so SG we want to set our health move this in here
and we want to go ahead and get a reference to our health and do that. So it's going to do all the same thing. Now I don't have anything to lower my health right now and I don't have a health bar so you can't see it but no matter what you're going to go ahead and get that information so I come back in here and I change and now I come back in here and I'm the red character. All right, you guys, if you have any questions, come on my Discord channel. Uh, I don't check the messages on the YouTube channel very often, but if you come by my, my Discord channel, uh, definitely check the rules out before you uh, start posting. I've only got like three. Um, just follow the basic rules, ask questions, be nice, and thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video.